We weren't invited. All right, I. Driving all over the place because Elvis 
During the day, he slept, and during the night, he partied, and he partied hard. He also, um, there's another story. Everybody knows who Tom Jones is? Okay. Well, Tom Jones was performing at the International, and Elvis had come in to visit, and he had gone with Dr. Donham, and the Elias, they went to go see the show. So, they're sitting on the side panel, and Elvis says to, uh, Elvis says, turns around and tells Elias, and he says, Elias, he goes, whatever you do, don't tell Tom Jones not to announce me that I am here at the showroom. Don't say anything, okay? Wait till after the show. So Elvis is there listening to Tom Jones, and Tom Jones thinks, oh, I'm British, I'm good. They're throwing fancies at me, who cares? So he says, okay, folks, or whatever he says in British language, he says, I want to let you know my good friend, Dr. Elias Ghanem, and his, and his buddy, Elvis Presley, is here. Everybody went, ah! and left him hanging with his panties in his hand <laughs> while they went to go see Elvis. And that is a true story. And uh, I ran into Tom Jones a few years ago, and I told him the story, and he recalled it. He's like, that was exactly it. Tom Jones, yes. And just walk, keep on walking and go perform a show. Man, it was unbelievable. Anyway, so back in 1956, Elvis has his first hit, right? I'll break with them. Right. Yeah, give me the prize. <laughs> the Heartbreak Hotel. And uh, he's just an unbelievable hit. So that's when he comes over to Las Vegas, thinks that everything's going to work out for him, goes to the frontier, and he bombs. Just didn't work out because nobody understood. He had the wrong crowd, you know. He had the older crowd that was gambling. And then in uh, 1956, he went across the street at that time. Who was playing at the Riviera? Not an Elvis question. Liberace, right. Liberace was playing and he uh, went back there. They did some, you could see some old pictures where Liberace has a guitar and Elvis is playing the piano. They became good friends. A lot of the celebrities and a lot of the old mobsters and the CEOs, the GMs of this city, they do a lot for this city. A lot of charitable work. They try to help improve it, and they're always giving. They became very good friends many years later. So then in March 1957, he goes and he buys, not the Heartland, he buys, right. <laughs> Anyways, he goes on, I was just, you know, I was reading about Elvis just to make sure that I knew a little, just a little bit, not more than you guys, because you guys know, but it was amazing, I mean, they had a working movie after movie after movie, and doing hits, and I mean, he did 33 films in that period, unbelievable, I was just shocked to see how much he was doing. Then he comes out with his movie, The Jailhouse Rock, in 1957. Remember, he had only graduated high school in, what, 19, what did I say, 53? Just amazing. So, his mom dies in 1958 in August. And August is where? He, he was born, he died in August, his mother dies in August. Didn't he get married? He got married in May. But everything seemed to happen around August. All right, do you guys uh, know, here's a trivia. Did you guys know Vernon remarried? Yes, he did. How many steps on to the out? Three. All right, it almost. Close, three. And, uh, and then Priscilla. <laughs> yeah. Right, Priscilla comes to visit him in the summer to come and see Elvis Presley. Who can, who can say no to that man? Anybody here can say no to that man? Okay, you guys can raise your hand. <laughs> All right, we are on Charleston. To your left over here, behind this, uh, we're on the underpass of I-15. And to your left is an outlet. It's called Premier Outlet. If you wanted to come shop, you can take the juice and come shop over here. You can get anywhere from Nikes to Black and White to uh, Jones and Company. Uh, any, just about anything out there. And they have really fantastic prices. You even get a coupon book if you uh, go and ask for one inside the uh, main office there. This is guest service.
office. Right next to it is called our uh, World of Market building. You'll see these big, giant black buildings. Or if you walk, when we get on the freeway, you may be able to see it. These buildings are, um, they house nothing but furniture. And twice a year, we get 5,000 people that come in just to shop for furniture. This is going to be the new location for um, San Francisco, New York, where all the conventions were there. These conventions are now going to be coming here to Las Vegas twice a year. Now, not only do we have one building, but we completed the second building uh, last year. We're in the final stages of the third building. We're going to have five buildings. You're going to see these buildings. They're incredible. They look like monsters. I think they're ugly, but they look like monsters, and they have nothing but furniture from $13,000, you know, piece of a chair to a $1,300 chair to a $300 chair. Speaking of thousands of dollars, do you know that you guys, when you go at the Aladdin or Planet Hollywood, to you start walking the Desert Passage, there's a paraphernalia store, paraphernalia store, and there's a guitar there signed by Elvis worth $18,000. Okay, it's right in your hotel. Yeah. They have some other, like some, uh, some, yeah, as soon as you walk out, they have some, uh, some, uh, uh, a letter he signed and a record he signed and stuff like that that they have there. The 18000 is the most expensive piece. Anybody who owns a hotel would love to see that number. Huh? 